Sacramento may be the city of trees, but a newly released memo shows the city has no more money to plant trees in its own parks. I heard that right. Instead, the memo states Sacramento now has to rely exclusively on volunteers. CBS 13 Steve Large is live at, from Sacramento with the park funding problem. Steve? Yeah, and here's a copy of that memo that comes as a surprise to Sacramento tree advocates who know that old adage is true. Money doesn't grow on trees. And now it appears the city's parks department is out of money, too. Sacramento Park's trees are in trouble and money is at the root of the problem. I was stunned to read that. Victoria Vasquez is the chair of the Parks and Community Enrichment Commission. Yeah, I think that puts our city's tree canopy in a free fall. Sounding the alarm after seeing this city park memo reading the planting of new trees or the replacement planting of removed trees is supported exclusively by public volunteerism. When we see these storms knocking out trees, when we see things like a, a tree in its natural life cycle is going to pass away and we're not intentionally planting to replace. Uh, when I was mayor and on the council, we planted a lot of trees in city parks and we maintained the trees in city parks. Former Sacramento Mayor Heather Fargo has also worked for the Sacramento Tree Foundation. She was surprised by the memo. A park department spokesperson says the policy is not a new one and that there's no funding to initiate tree plantings in bulk numbers. Oftentimes when volunteers plant trees, they're not um, maintained by the city either. So they may not get water in the summer and they may die, even though people put a lot of effort into getting them planted. Sacramento parks have 25% of the city trees. Sacramento is actually one of the world's largest hand-planted urban forests, but not for long. A city that prides itself on its urban tree canopy. So we know that we're losing trees on a continual basis. And this memo showing its park policy problem. There's no money to maintain it. And on top of this all, there's a city budget deficit that is looming, and the Parks Department is likely going to be asked to cut 15 percent unless the city council takes some action to try and protect the park's trees.